Well, hello. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rachel and I am the artist behind Vandal's Folk Art. Today marks the beginning of a series that I will be doing interviewing some of my favorite Halloween folk artists. Most of the artists that I have interviewed have been doing this for well over a decade. While some of the artists that I've interviewed are little known artists, a lot of the artists that I've interviewed are well known and have a huge following. The intent of the series is to give you a glimpse of these artists' work and what makes them so passionate about what they do. Often, we just see these artists on social media pages like Facebook or Instagram, but we're never given an opportunity to actually see them speaking about their work. The first artist I want to bring you today is Jenny Hippler Takens of My Dearest Witch. Jenny Takens has been a professional maker for more than a decade. Early in her career, her time was spent creating things in a Victorian shop with her grandmother. It wasn't long into her career when she began to feel the tug of the macabre world. Jenny is an eccentric artist who surrounds herself with wonderfully mysterious objects that fuel her desire to bring her creations to life. Embracing both the light and the dark, Jenny's work is both magical and mysterious. Often said, her characters are like threads. If you grasp tightly and follow them, they will take you to a place of wild-eyed frivolity. Jenny lives and works in her workshop seated in a 100-year-old home she shares with her children. Her workshop is truly magical, brimming with antiques and curiosities, drawers filled to the brim with ribbons and antique lace, small jars of buttons, Edwardian era dresses, and little bits of antique fabrics. Jenny says, I think the macabre sneaks into my work because down deep, I desire to create something that is truly magical to someone. I spoke with Jenny at the 2022 Bewitching Peddler Show and asked her to give some advice for artists that are interested in doing this type of art. This is Rachel with Vandal's Folk Art. Okay, so how I got the interviews is um, all these interviews were done at the Bewitching Peddler Show in 2022. Um, I approached all of the artists prior to the, st prior to the show start to ask them if they would be willing to take a few minutes to do an interview with me. Um, Doing interviews is super stressful, um, very intimidating. So I just want to let you guys know that um, that prior, because even I was super anxious because some of these artists are artists that I've been following for years. And I'm like, uh, the whole time I was like totally fangirling, like just seeing their artwork and like being able to actually like be in the presence of such an amazing artist, such an amazing human being. So I just want to share that with you guys um, beforehand. Uh, before we get into these interviews, just to let you guys know, set the stage. Um, I wanted to do this to showcase um, not only their artwork, but also them as a human being so that you guys can actually get a very in-depth look at some of these artists. This is Rachel with Vandal's Folk Art, and I am here with... Jenny Hepler takens of My Dearest Witch. How long have you been making art? I've been making Halloween art professionally for 15 years. And where do you find your inspiration for all your designs? I collect fairy tales. So I love reading about fairy tales and saving them up in my brain and then changing them around and making dolls to uh, fit the need of the fairy tale. How do you get yourself out of a rut when you get stuck? I go to antique shops or bookshops or uh, places that have so much stimulation and so much uh, stories and words to get lost in and I just immerse myself in that until I feel like I really got a great idea and yeah. it puts me back on track again. Um, and if we want to find your art, where can we find you? So, Bewitching Colors of Halloween, Facebook, um, Instagram, and mydearswitch.com. Right. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank you so much, Rachel. <laughs> Jenny has a fondness for the sideshow and this fondness is often reflected in her work. From dog boys to conjoined twins and even a bearded lady. One of my favorite quotes from her, um, she said, was when she was being interviewed for the Halloween Art and Travel podcast. She says, I love to embrace everything odd. We all have that thing in our person, in our personality, that we may think is a little bit odd. That we may think is unattractive or is detracting from our personality. My thing is that I love that about people. Don't try to shy away or not embrace or cover up. That's why I love the sideshow and oddity. It's truly showcasing it. The reason why I love that quote so much is because it literally encapsulates her and her person. Um, she really does embrace diversity. 
She embraces oddity. She loves the odd. And you can clearly tell that through her children and the way that her whole family interacts. Um, the way she dresses, she's very eccentric. Um, I love the way that she puts together her outfits and the different clothing that she wears and the way that she styles her hair. Um, and when you go to the show, her daughter and her son are often running around the show and you can see that, um, her daughter is very eccentric. Um, she is not shy. She knows exactly who she is and she is not afraid to be who she is. Um, and I just love, I love so much that she embraces that and that it shines through in her family dynamic and that they are absolutely not afraid to be who they are. I've always loved and had a passion for Halloween artists. And I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to be able to share that passion with you. Um, I'm just so thankful for, I'm so thankful for the fact that they were willing to give me a piece of their time and also to give y'all a piece of their time because going online or being interviewed is hard, especially um, being interviewed for like a video, having a camera shoved in your face <laughs> and someone asking you questions like on the spot questions that you hadn't prepared for in advance. Like that's so, so incredibly difficult. So I just, I really just want to say, I thank you guys so much for taking the time to interview with me. And I'm sure that everybody watching this and fans of your art are so appreciative of the time that you took out of your very, very busy day to speak on your art and what makes you so passionate about it and things like that. A little note on Bewitching Peddlers, it is set in Marshall, Michigan at the Calhoun County Fairgrounds. This year, the event will be held on September 30th. I highly suggest you guys attend this show. It's magical. Jenny puts her heart and soul into this show. Um, general, the general show information is the show will be held at Calhoun County Fairgrounds in Marshall, Michigan. The date for the event is September 30th. The building for the show is handicap and stroller accessible. Um, but if you're bringing your stroller or if you're in a wheelchair or you need assistance getting around, just know that in the beginning of the show, things are a little bit busy. So just be patient or you can show up a little bit later in the afternoon when things kind of start to die down. Um, it's an in-person show. The collections created for Bewitching Peddlers of Halloween are available in person only and there will be no early sales. Um, they do not have tickets available online. So if you guys want to attend the show, you have to purchase the tickets at the show. For more information on the show, please visit bewitchingpeddlersofhalloween.com. I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with me and going on this journey with me and sharing my passion for Halloween folk artists. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you wanna to talk to me, please leave a comment down below. I am always checking my comments. If you have a question or if you have a suggestion for a future video, down there in the comments is the perfect place for it. If you want to see more content like this, then please hit the subscribe button. And again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.